Hi everyone, welcome back. I know, strange surroundings. I am going to show you how to use the Z palette Z Potter today. And let's try to depot a bunch of wet and wild. So I'm dealing with a new tripod here because I'm usually obviously filming over there. But I'm, I can't get Greg, Greg's busy right now. But I'm gonna position it down here so you can see what it's doing and let's hope this video works. <laughs> I've only played with it a few times, but it does work great. A um, few tips. Um, the Z Potter does come with a magnet. Um, I already know Wet n Wild shadows are not, the pans are not magnetized because the magnet would stick. Um, I did pull out a Lorac shadow for you just to show you of, you'll know when it sticks. You can feel it, you know, magnetized to it. I mean, the magnet's so strong it'll pick up my tools. Okay? So all you do is I'm going to bring you down here so you're going to have to hear me just talk. Sorry, nails are a mess, but let's have some fun. Okay, I'm going to try to do this without losing you. <laughs> oh God, how's this work? Bear with me. Okay, this is the Z Potter. This is an induction heating system. This is not a hot plate. I can put my hand right on it. It's not hot. It does plug into the wall. It has a fairly short cord. I've been playing with different settings. Right now I have it at four. And we're just gonna pop the pallets on here. Let's start with the big one. I'm also gonna try the new highlighters, one of the geometrics, and let that just heat up. It doesn't take long. All that's heating is the pan. With induction, the plastic doesn't melt. It's just the pan that's heating up. And that's all you really need to heat because you want to release the adhesive that is on here to pop these shadows right out. My old way of depotting was with a huge, I'm down here, <laughs> big lighter, literally having to sit next to a window and lighting the back basically and melting it so I can push the, um, the pans out of it. So this takes no more lighters and I still have my tools. I use very, this is a very thin, little spatula which is messy right now and then I have this other tool here has a very pointed edge and these are probably my two most used tools oh I probably should have took the sticker off the back <laughs> okay then you just literally I had it in there way too long I'm cracking the red one. That's all right. Wait a minute. Ah! Hold on. I don't know what happened. Wait a minute. Oh. I've been using it normally at a setting of three, so I'm going to go back to three. So you get to learn right along with me. Let me see if any of these other ones. They're just about there. With me, it's more finding how long to leave each pan in here. And it's all just, I'm learning too. So it's a learning experience. But it doesn't take long normally. See, I just get caught up talking to you. So then, my luck, I'll light it up. Take it off. And out pops the pan. The pans will be hot. They're like tin. But you can see how quickly they pop right out. I'm hoping you can see this. And if you, you know, you don't have to put a lot of pressure. If it's ready to go, it pops right out. I'm hoping you can see this. I know I'm probably blocking you in one way or another here. It's stuck with the adhesive on there. Let's try the edge. And it's always trying to find the edge of where you can get your tool in there. Ah! Okay, I'm going to back here for a second. And then you can just rub off any adhesive. 
or use um, alcohol like on a Q-tip and it'll take it right off. So I'm going to pull this off again. See, I have a wider, I can see that it's a wider gap on this side. And poof, there it is. Pops right out. Now the red I cracked, which happens. I left my rubbing alcohol upstairs, but you can just really pop some rubbing alcohol on it or just give it a press with your thumb. It'll be fine. It's just shadow. No worries. So that's, I'm just going to try to roll through these with you quickly. I don't want to keep you too long. But this is amazing. This is not hot at all. See, my hand's right on here. Because all it heats is metal. I know these ones go fairly quickly. I've tried out a few. To me, I'm just going to have to learn how many seconds it takes. It does have a fan over here on this side. So I'm, that's why I'm not sure if I'm yelling too much for you guys. I'm just bummed out here, sweatpants. Sweatshirt. Let me give them a quick check. Yep. There's one. And this used to take so much longer when I was literally lighting them up. Which, you know, is dangerous and you don't want to, you know, catch yourself on fire or anything like that. So there's two, and let's get this purple one. Yeah, the adhesive's still a little sticky on that, but that's okay. See, there's the adhesive on the back. And there's your shadow. Do you see how quick that was? And then your packaging is perfect. So especially for you girls that love your packaging, this is the way to go. Now, I haven't tried any of these yet. These are the Wet n Wild Fergie. The center stage collection. And let's see if we can pop those out. I'm um, just going to grab a random Z palette here. Well, I hope they don't leave that to me. Like I said, these aren't magnetized, so I'm just going to pop them in here for now. Just so they're out of the way. That's probably been on there way too long right now, but that's okay. Ah! <laughs> I normally would take all the adhesive off first before I also put them into my palette. But these you will need a magnet which Z palette provides you with in all their palettes. Or if you're like me and you play Tetris with them, you can pack them in there so tight you'll never have to <laughs> use a magnet at all. Now let's see if we can get these out. Let's start with the center. Oh, look at that. Popped right out. Beautiful. There's one. Now these pans are a little odd shaped, obviously, but let's see how we can do it here. Like I said, it's just, oh, look at that, right out, beautiful. And you see, I just stick the spatula underneath, and it pulls right up. So it's always just finding the corner, or where you have like a little more of a gap. Get your tool in there, like I said, this is a, I got this at like a Michael's store, something like that. Just any like art store. Boom, right out, done. Beautiful. And there you go. Depotted in seconds. Seconds. Love it. And then you can just recycle. Let's try the geometric highlighting powder. Pop these into the palette over here. I'm running out of space, you know. Yeah, so it's all in just figuring out the timing, like I said. Even I haven't totally figured it out, and every brand is different. Every brand uses a different adhesive also, which if you depot, you know that. 
of, I find some of the um, more inexpensive makeup, they sometimes have the best adhesive. Oh, look at that. Boom. Done. Out of the pan. Look at that. Perfect. Done. Let's try the highlighters. Now see, when you have the... See how the lid here won't sit flat? That's why I've just been kind of keeping it forward. I just pop it right in the center. Everyone having a great day? I hope so. I mean, normally I do this, you know, obviously I'm alone and it's, you know, I might put some music on and, but this machine, look at, see, I can touch this. The only thing that's getting hot is the pan. Even the plastic I can touch. No more burnt fingers. I mean, you can burn your fingers on the metal, but you just have to be very careful. Let me flip that since it's, and I always do have some type of, this is just an old towel and then, you know, paper towels on top. All right. It's been on there a little while. Let's give it a try. Nope. I'm going to let that go a few more seconds. It really doesn't take long. And I mean, now you can just, there's no more. I had to peel all the labels off before. Yeah, because I don't want to, when I was using that lighter, I'm trying not to light this on fire too. I mean, that's just crazy. These ones I must have already pulled the labels off. Because I have a whole drawer, if you watched my room tour, of stuff to depot. So let's try this again. It's coming. I can just feel it loosening all the way around. Boom. Highlighter, depotted. And this pan isn't really even that warm. Perfect. This is why I depot, because I don't like singles. Pop it on there, we'll give it a few. Who's gonna come visit me at IMAX? Better come visit me. Take selfies with me, say hi. I'm really fun, I swear. I'm really getting obsessed with this. Hit me up. Let me know what other brand you want. I am going to do all of my... Where did I put them? The Rock singles. Where did I put the single? I did manage to pot two of these because I have probably 24 of these. And they're just sitting in the drawer behind me here. And they're not getting used because it's a pain just having all these singles put, sitting around. So I can depot them. Put them right into a Z palette, and then they go on the wall. My Z palette wall. Okay, that one out of the way. Let's give this a shot. I only have it at setting three. I don't even know how this goes. Two, three. Okay, it goes to a setting of five. So I've been keeping it at a three. And always just be gentle. I'm using firm yet gentle pressure. And you can see I'm working my way around it. There it is. Depotted. Fabulous. And I know these um, trios, they depot in seconds too. I'm just going to leave the packaging on there. Just let it set forward. How do I not have a Z palette near me? That's like impossible. That's okay. But see, now this is cool. I can put the highlighters and all these in one palette. It's going to be so much easier. I love saving space, and you know I love my Z palette wall. So. And I have tons of wet and wild. I mean, they just stack up and stack up and stack up. And you can put more than one on here at a time. If you want, I'm just doing one because it's easier to show you one at a time. Okay, let me show, let me try this one real quick. I think, yeah, look at these, they pop right out. They probably don't even need to. Look, it falls right out. 
This one's real loose, I know it is. Yep. I can tell, I can already see this is loose too. Boom, done. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna shut this off. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back up. Try to. I hope I don't hit any buttons here. Ah, hi, there you are. My makeup's a hot mess. Um, it, I had to put up, <laughs> this is how I created garbage bags over my wine collection here because you were able to see all the wine bottles in the Z Potter. And I just, I'm hoping that it blocked it. I mean, obviously I haven't watched this shit or anything and I just upload regardless. So that is how to depot wet and wild with the Z palette, Z Potter. I am so thankful to Z palette that they sent me this because they know I am the depotting queen. And yeah, the depotting queen, I'm gonna go to town. You know I got all these drawers here. This is the Lorac drawer alone. Two Makeup Revolution. This is all tart. You gotta remember these drawers are three foot by three foot. They're massive. Um, Smashbox. I mean, I already have. See, Smashbox has its own palette already. But I have, oh, it turned back on on me. But I am gonna unplug it. Safety first. But now maybe, you know, to pot this one too. Done. All right. Well, I hope everyone has a fabulous night. If there's any other ones, I'm sorry, my makeup's a hot mess. <laughs> um, any other brains you want me to pot? Um, but I already have a drawer full. I'm gonna do show you how to do Gerard cosmetics, all the highlighters, stuff like that. Uh, what else do I have in there? Oh my God, Too Faced, they depot like that too. But their pans are magnetic. So to me, hey, you're already putting a magnetic pan in a palette. You want me to depot it. All right. I hope this was semi-informative to all of you, but I'll definitely make more. I really wanted Greg to help me so he can kind of go around me. But let me know if this kind of worked. Because I, like I said, I had to buy a different tripod just so I don't have to move my other one from the filming area. Okay, love y'all. Hope that helped. I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.